Hi, I'm Cami at Nixa Seed and Hardware. I'm with Danny Sims, the plumber. Danny, last night I went to my garbage disposal, turned it on, didn't work. Hmm. So let's talk about this. <laughs> okay. What should I have done? What could I have done? Are there easy fixes? Yeah, a lot of times it's just simple reset button or they're in the very center of it. There's a hole that you'll put an Allen wrench in and you can turn it manually. And a lot of times, you know, if it's got a little clog or something in it, it's locked up and it won't move. So you put the Allen wrench in to free it, then try your switch again and see if it doesn't work. Okay. Do you have one we can look at? Sure. I want to see what this looks like. Okay. So my drain is funneling right into the top of this? Right, right. And it goes through, this is your exit point, so it goes out into the waste. This is your dishwasher hook up here. Underneath it, this is your reset button. And if it clicks when you pushed it in, then it's like a breaker. It's tripped. Oh, it can be that simple it to fix. It should be that simple to fix. Just huh. push this button first, and if it clicks, you know your breaker on it has tripped, and it should fire right back okay. up. If it was tripped and doesn't fire, but you hear a humming, take your wrench that comes with them. Usually the contractor will tape them to a door or something like that, Under put the them in a the drawer. Yeah. Okay. And it'll fit in right there. And you can take it and manually turn that disposal either direction to free it up. Okay. It's just things that are getting caught in there? Sometimes things will get caught in the knives. You've got two knives in there mm -hmm. and they pin it against the wall and won't let it turn. Is there a point that I know that I have to replace the whole thing? Yeah. When you start to see water laying in your cabinet, it's pretty good obvious that it's leaking. Uh, but the big thing and most people is smelling it. Uh, you'll start to get that electrical smell uh, that's okay. telling you the armatures are swelling in it and it's wore out and it just needs to be replaced. But simple trick that I've taught a lot of people is put you some dish soap down inside it once, twice a week, not twice a week, excuse me, about once every two weeks. Oh, okay. And then dump a full cup of ice in on top of that dish soap and turn it on. So the ice doesn't actually hurt it, it actually sharpens it? It actually does. It takes, inside you'll see these little pins here and that's your knives and what we're going to do is we're going to clean that outside edge with that ice okay those knives won't reach all the way to the edge and so food gets caught there and starts to stink you'll get those mm. little flies sometimes and that's because it's dirty mm -hmm. so dump the ice in with the dish soap cleans it right up so sometimes they do leak too right yeah how yeah. do i know that well you're going to get water in the bottom of the cabinet now, that's the first thing you're going to notice uh, if they're not cleaned properly, the food will rot and rust the insides of the unit and they'll, they'll start leaking. And a lot of times people think it's the pipe leaking or it's actually the unit itself. There's a seam here and a lot of times it may be leaking over here but it'll come around to this seam and come out. So you'll think it's this hose leaking or this mm -hmm. deal here leaking but actually it's the unit itself has went bad okay. and it starts to leak on that seam. Is that something simple to replace or do I need a plumber for that? There again, you know, we talked earlier, if you can turn tools, you can fix it. Okay. It's about a 15 minute fix. So there you have it. Some of these are really easy fixes and now I know what to even look for. Thank you so much, You're Danny. Welcome. Have a good day.